What's up, slackers? I'll give it a <laughs> use the hurricane. Oh, so what's going on? You obviously, you guys can uh, check out uh, what's going on in Florida right now. We're about to get hit with a hurricane. So, so what's going on? We're just gonna wait for a couple people to just join. Get uh, before we start going in and start talking about everything and stuff like that. So, if you notice, I have a little bit of bed beard going on. I need to take care of that stuff. So what's going on, guys? How are you? What's the, uh, what's going on? Oh, you can see that I've been running around all day. I've been doing some cool stuff. I wanted to give you guys some uh, cool updates about what's going on. So it's been quite hectic over the past couple days, but it's been pretty crazy. Uh, if you haven't checked out, I also put, uploaded uh, the AMD X, or AMD X, the AMD 5700 XT. I keep on saying X for some reason. I think it's from saying uh, X570 so much. So, but who knows? But uh, yeah, so this hurricane thing's kind of messing things up. Uh, I was supposed to be on a uh, a trip, you could say. So if you didn't notice from the, the thumbnail, uh, I basically bought a toy hauler for events. So basically what's going to be going on over the next year is basically I'm going to I'm gonna be doing uh, events all over the US. So instead of paying for all the hotels and stuff, I'm gonna road trip it, take it with the truck, do all courts, all sorts of good stuff. So if you ever wanna come and meet me in person, it's gonna be, uh, best way to do it is gonna to go to uh, the USA events. So <laughs> have I thought about running for president? Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. I don't know if I didn't wanna be involved in politics for all the crap that's going on. So it's kind of crazy to be honest, but, but anyway, so let's uh, just get into it. Uh, we'll wait for more people to join and if they don't, whatever. Um, um, I was gonna end up doing a, like a, a normal on two stream, but my whole week has been totally screwed. Um, it's just been, it's been insane. So uh, what is that, a good motherboard to look and upgrade? Depends on what you want. If you wanna do AMD, I've been doing the uh, MSI uh, X570. Uh, the Godlight, it's, it's expensive. You can get away with a lot of different boards, though. Um, but anyways, yeah. So I've had some exhausting uh, past couple weeks. I ended up getting this uh, toy hauler. Spent about 10K. Uh, had to go through it. It's, man, dude, <laughs> to be honest, I think the toy hauler was pretty much crazier than, uh, I don't know. Uh, just to, to, to become friggin' president, I think, would probably be... Uh, easier than this toy hauler has been for me so uh i didn't get a chance to go i can't really show you the toy hauler right now so i'm gonna do that in another video but i'll i want to explain a couple uh, it, i was supposed to be in north carolina this week and i was supposed to take the toy hauler and it was pretty much fail the whole week i spent about like six seven hours just trying to do a bunch of crazy stuff so but anyways, uh, we're going to end up continuing doing a bunch of LN2 stuff. Um, just not today. I couldn't get any LN2 today. Um, I think I have some in my garage, but I'm going to have to probably try a couple different things. So uh, let's take some questions before you get anything. You guys are doing hitting me with computer questions, not about toy all their questions. It's pretty funny. Where's Dorian? I don't know where Dorian is. Yeah, I don't even know if Dorian's going to hit it. Yes, I was actually on time. You can't say I wasn't on time this time. But yeah, so, oh, it's been a crazy week. The toy hauler, so just to go a little bit of stories about the toy hauler, I ended up buying a 2008, um, was it a uh, Weekend Warrior? Uh, that way I can fit my motorcycle in when I'm going to Vegas or going to any pretty much any trips. But I had to replace all the tires. Uh, I ended up paying the rims or the hubcaps. Uh, Redoing all the bearings and stuff, which is important when you're going to be on the trailer. So I'm going to use this trailer a lot, so I want to make sure it's up to snuff. So I spent a bunch of money cleaning it up, and uh, I worked with my brother on it, trying to get everything going. It's pretty crazy. Rims, it's wheels. No, wheels is technically not true, broski. Do you use the boat to pillage since you're a Viking? Well, I need a bigger boat. My boat's too small. That's a whole nother story to get into that we're going to basically get into. So... But uh, yeah, this Dorian thing, so it looks like no boating weather, which sucks. I need to, uh, I wish, uh, to be honest, I wish it was boating weather. I need a, I need a break with that. Where's the Viper? Uh, we're going to get into that too. So, um, but yeah, the toy hauler is going to be for events all over. So if you guys want to come out and see me, I'm going to announce events on Twitter, um, on Discord all the time. 
Um, so basically that's pretty much it with the toy hauler. I mean, right now, uh, it's got a generator on it. I mean, it's, it's cool. It's badass. Uh, I can't wait to stay in it. I'm going to test it out probably in a couple weeks. I got to drive up to near Philly. So yeah, I'm never on discord. I am on discord now. So pretty much all this week, uh, I've been slammed with work too. So I had to cancel my trip, ended up doing meetings for the past like three days. So it's pretty crazy, but yeah, so, uh, this, it's actually really good that I canceled my stuff because yeah, Hurricane Dorian, whoever comes up with these names is pretty, I don't know. Anyways, but yeah, it's a good thing that I, I basically canceled that because dude, you can see now it's going into a category four. at least I'm on the west side instead of the east side. So the east side looks like it's gonna get hit pretty, uh, I don't know, crazily or whatever. I like to make up my own words if you haven't realized that by now. But uh, yeah. So I'm thinking about doing if we do get a hurricane. You ever see that guy with the big American flag that he's waving it? I think we need to redo that and I, I have to put that up. So I'm, I might do that just for kicks, but. But yeah, so it's getting quite crazy around here. And uh, uh, if you guys saw my truck in the post too, I'm, I was thinking about doing some mods on the truck. So that, but that's a whole nother question. I wanna do, uh, I need to bump it up, but. But anyways, let's get into it. So, oh, let's see, let me turn this puppy on. I haven't touched this thing in a while. Oh, wrong one. There we go. So, oh, there we go. So, if you guys haven't noticed, this is a gimbal. I was gonna try to use my, uh, what's it called? My GH5, but I haven't really enjoyed it for pretty much doing stuff like this. So, we're gonna just use the iPhone for this. If you don't like it too bad, that's just gonna way it's gonna happen, but. Anyway, so this is the new cave. So if you guys haven't followed me for a while, I've been doing some, uh, I've actually haven't been slacking that much, or I guess you can use, basically say I have been slacking a lot. So you can sell right here. We got a, a 75 inch screen. We got, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, look at that. I, I ended up getting a new predator. Can't live without a predator for playing games and stuff like that. So uh, and then we got a, another screen, so that way when I'm streaming, I can do a bunch of goodies and stuff like that. So, what is this? Why won't Windows 1903 run 37? Oh, uh, actually, that's a whole different topic of conversation. Windows 1903, the version, sucks. So, I, if you're going to do overclocking and want to do scores and stuff, I highly recommend doing the older version. I think it's 1809. Uh, the 75-inch TV, it's an LG. I got a killer deal. I ended up getting one for the living room and my man cave. So this is the new YouTube studio. It is pretty much in uh, in the works. Uh, I've been slammed. Yeah, you can run 3733 on, but it's it's very buggy and you could kill the OS really well. It's just so much better on 1809. So just saying. I've never regretted anything more than upgrading to 19, yeah, so. But anyway, so we've been moving stuff in here. So I know I've told you guys I moved or moving, but I'm moving like crazy. So I, I'm still moving, but I guess it's it's kind of hard in here. Maybe we can get some, uh, it's like a whitest room ever. So this is my, uh, I don't know. It's like kind of like almost just like a awesome, like cool, I don't know, cool area. That I, got, I took the master bedroom as, as my studio because obviously the studio is important. You know what I mean? It's where all the magic happens, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, so these shelves are all there. I haven't really touched the shelves, but let me flip it over on the other side so you can see a little bit more. It's much easier. I know you want to see the beard and all, but let's see. So if you look down here, so, so far I got a bunch of cool stuff in here. Um, this is where I did all the KP stuff, stuff like that. Uh, it's, it's a mess right now though. So I'm still in the middle of organizing. This is going to be good for when we do the AMD stuff. Um, if you guys noticed, I just put up a video for uh, the AMD 5700 XT. We're going to be breaking that down. We're going to do some modding on it because it doesn't seem like anybody wants to show that stuff. You can see all my boards here. We got uh, a bunch of goodies. I'm a little bit of a mess because, like I said before, I was going to take a trip and all my stuff is all over the place. So that's kind of why I didn't stream today. Um, that's why I wanted to give you guys kind of a channel update, what's going on. Uh, you can tell my GH5 setup. The camera's kind of frustrating. I'm, I'm thinking about getting another camera, maybe like a Canon M50 just for like vlogging. And I have a lot of issues when 
it, it the auto stuff just really kind of drives me nuts. So I think I might just try another camera. That way I can get more footage because that seems to be most of my problem when I take footage that basically I don't end up saving much of it because I get frustrated on some of the auto stuff. So we're going to try another camera and maybe do a bunch of different other stuff. Yes, the Sony a7 III is definitely one I'm looking at, but it's also pricey too. So, but yeah, the lighting looks really well on the, the iPhone. That's why I was kind of doing it. I figured I'd go through this. This is just some of the stuff that's, I still have to, I have to go through the infamous garage. The garage is like pretty much one of the last things I need to do. So you can see all the goodies and stuff that up here. This isn't even half of it. My garage basically has all of the goodies. So I'm also needed, to, I need to look at uh, some uh, new lighting. These ones take up way too much room. I don't like them and I'm going through bulbs like crazy. So, but yeah, I'll trade you a Canon 5D Mark III for your KP card. No, Tim, stop trying to steal my KP card. So if you notice right here, I have this desk set up and this setup, this desk is actually kind of beat up like crazy because uh, I dropped liquid nitrogen on it a while ago and it's like this weird um, plastic top or whatever. So like it, it's, it's, it's all cracked underneath. So I throw the gamers uh, Nexus mod or uh, mod mat on there, which is obviously awesome. Go to gamers Nexus to get that. Um, but yeah, so I was going to use this table. I plan on building like a, a big wooden uh, tabletop, almost like Viking-ish, because that's the plan. You know, this is obviously bearded hardware. You got tech out in here doing a bunch of different stuff. So we need some like wooden Viking-ish stuff. So I ended up talking to Thermaltake, and I don't know if you guys noticed with Thermaltake, they have uh, they have some really cool stuff. Oh, that's right. Let me fix this real quick. So they have some really cool stuff. So one of the cool things they have is this table that lights up and does all certain, but it's like, it's automatic, right? So you can go like raise it, like the height up and down. Cause I like to do videos sitting down. Then sometimes I like to do videos standing up. So the current ones I have now, they have this little handle and I want something that's automatic. So if you actually, where is it? So you look, see right here, there's basically a hole right here. So I have a handle that basically goes up and you can raise the table and then you can lower the table. But I want something that's power. So Thermal Take's gonna send me a table and we're gonna mod the hell out of it. I'm gonna put a big wooden piece on top of it. And basically, I don't know what, I, I think I'm gonna transfer the RGB so it's underneath, so it lights up all underneath instead of being distracting. Cause I mean, you can even see the case behind me, the Thermal Take or the, uh, which is a lot of thermal take too. But it, I don't know, it's kind of distracting and for the videos and stuff, I want to kind of change it around. But, so those are a couple things. You also notice right here, my buddies at Thermal Take, we're planning on making a bench rig. And when I brought this up to them, basically saying that, hey, we got to do some cool stuff. Um, I want to make a bench rig because that on the floor just doesn't cut it. And I, and I actually like it on the floor because I can pour and then live stream and show you guys stuff. But but what they did is they came back to me, which is really, really cool. My buddy Thermal Mike, he ended up etching my logo into, I think it's the P5 um, glass. So we're going to be using this a lot. I have a couple things in the works. So just so you know, I, I put up the AMD video today. Well, let me fix this thing. I haven't used this in a while, so I'm trying to get used to it. But so here, let me sit down. Uh, take a breath. So, um, yeah. So as far as uh, the studio, it's in the works. We got a lot of stuff going on. Um, yeah, this is just the one room. We also have a garage, too, which is really, really, really crazy. Tullius, what's up, brother? Oh, I was going to say, replace the carpet with hard floors with the stuff hanging out. All the stuff hanging on the floor. Yeah. So the other thing is, too, is, I don't know. Here, it's easier for me to show you than. So if you see up here, right? See all this dead space? This annoys the shit out of me. See all this? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to be putting up some crazy wooden shelves. I just haven't came up with the design. So, like, all around here, we need to make some cool stuff happen. So I need to be, I haven't really thought of the shelves because I have so much cool gear. Like, you guys really don't know, and it's all in boxes and stuff. So, for the background, for doing a bunch of different stuff, I 
I think it's needed and necessary that we build some badass shelves. So that's going to be the other thing I'm going to do. Oh, the, the dead tech wall. That sounds like a good idea. I agree with you, broski. Yeah, because I actually have a lot of dead hardware. Um, I'm not going to say anything, but yeah, killed a lot of stuff. Just like that new KP, which we'll go into that. Where's the cradle for the polar bear? I don't get that one. <laughs> but anyway, so what are you guys doing? You guys got any more questions about the studio? What's going on? Just stopping by to say hello, bro. Been in too much pain and pain to type with my left hand. Oh, broski. Well, I hope you feel better. If you guys haven't, if you don't know who Tullius Tech is, he's a pretty dope dude from uh, India, buddy of mine. We always see him at Computex and stuff. He needs to grow a beard, but I don't think he can. But yeah, dude, I actually, it, I love that te uh, dead tech wall idea. Um, I have so much stuff that's like crazy. I literally have a box, like a huge box of all dead stuff. Uh, any good Viking have to have fear, uh, a fearsome pet companion? Well, my companion dog is actually in the other room. She's kind of a, a, a king slacker. Her, her name is CJ. Uh, we'll, we'll go and see her in a little bit. The lighting's kind of shitty in there, so. But uh, what was I going to say? So, yeah, the dead tech wall. we got a ton of this stuff. Still trying to grow a majestic Viking beard. I know, it's getting long. I actually trimmed it a little bit. It, I have a little bit of case of uh, bed beard going on. I'm going to end up doing a, a beard video. I, I keep getting requests on people like want to know like what I do with the beard. Right now, I haven't done anything. I woke up like this. But, uh, but yeah, I've been working all day and trying to get stuff done. I ran out of time, so I said... I'm not going to do the beard. I'm just going to basically show you kind of what's going on and stuff like that. But yeah, um, yeah, so let, I guess let's move on to the next subject. What you got, G, the Viking slacks, that's what's up. Don't go washing your beard with Pantene. <laughs> no, we saved the Pantene for, for Steve from Gamers Texas. And on that note, I guess we'll have to talk to talk about Steve. So. One of the, the things with my trip, what I was going to take with the toy hauler, was I was going to go up to Steve and visit, and we were going to do a couple live streams on uh, the 3900X and a couple other things, you know, uh, uh, what's it called, the 5700XT and the 3900X, so uh, stay tuned for that. I think we're going to try to plan on doing this for maybe next weekend, something like that. But, uh, so that's in the works. Um, uh, I wanted to also go visit, I, I'm getting a notification from my buddy, too, um, Chris Krug. I don't know if you know who Chris Krug is, so I don't know. I was so disappointed that I didn't do that, so I got to give him a shout out for Krug Tech. If you see his uh, YouTube stuff, it's he basically, he's got a minivan with a rocket motor in it, dude. I mean, how cool can you be to have a rocket motor in your van? Who's that? What's up, Joe? What's up, broski? No, but anyway, so he has a rocket and he wants me to drive that thing. So it's pretty much, oh man, I'm so like excited to do that. So we're going to have to maybe try to see if we can get some timing to do that in the next couple weeks or whatever. Because I know in the next couple weeks, I'm going to be going doing the trip again. Because I got to go to my cousin's wedding in Philly. So we're going to try that stuff out. We're going to bring the dog and everything. So... Uh, so what else is going on? So that's the Gamers Nexus stuff. So we're going to be doing some cool live streams for that. Um, let's see the next thing. So we talked about the toy hauler. Uh, we talked about the studio. We still have to go over the rest of the moves. So this is a big house and there's a lot of stuff going on. So, uh, let's see. We talked about the dog. We'll go and visit the dog in a little bit when we kind of go walk around and show some stuff. You going into space, <laughs> dude, I... Dude, I am so excited to, to like, drive this van. Like, just to even do video on the van, I think it's awesome. So, like, it, check out Crew Tech. Dude, he's a badass. He works on lasers and stuff. Uh, very cool broski. He's part of the Bearded Hardware. He always supports me, obviously. But, uh, yeah. So, but anyways. I love how you're growing the channel. Rock on, slacker. Thanks, broski. Yeah, we're growing slowly. I, I, dude, I've been so busy lately trying to get this toy hauler going, man. Like I said, I did the bearings, cleaned it all out. I had to, dude, toy haulers, dude, whoever says that RVing is easy, what a pain in the ass. Dude, trying to figure out black tanks, gray tanks, um, let's see, what else? Uh, freshwater tanks, how to shower on the in one of these things. And I have a toy hauler where I can fit too, so you gotta, you gotta make sure you take care of the beard. You gotta clean that thing. 
I know I save a lot of stuff in for later for food and stuff, but man, it, it's uh, it was quite a, a, a shock for how much I had to do. I had to do the bearings and stuff. and But anyway, so I ended up having to cancel my trip, which was a pain in the butt. We, oh yeah, we ended up fixing the generator too. So we got an awesome generator. Oh, we love you. Awesome Extremes Customs. Uh, but yeah, so the toy hauler, we did the toy hauler. So the, the toy hauler is chilling in the, in the, in the spot. Um, actually my motorcycle is in it right now too. I was testing it out cause I was going to actually leave for the trip and it was crazy too. I was about to leave and just drive all through the night to go to work in uh, North Carolina. And man, I just had bad luck. Something was telling me that I should not go and that I should cancel the trip. Like literally everything that I did with this toy hauler was so difficult that like it was like there was like a sign saying that i shouldn't go so of course now we have this giant hurricane that's coming so i think that's pretty much the sign saying that i should not go but what am i doing for mobile internet 4g just 4g i use at&t so um it streams pretty well in in taipei at least but but yeah so the toy hauler was a pain in the ass um, oh yeah, that, that same night when I went to leave, none of my credit cards worked to get gas or anything like that. It, it turns out the place, um, when I changed my mind, basically all the cards, all my cards wouldn't work. I'm like, what is it? There shouldn't be any problem with it. And it took me about a, a half an hour to figure it out. And I was like, you know what? Forget this. I'm not even going to go on the trip anymore. I'm just going home. I'm going to bring the, put the trailer down and I'm just not going to deal with it. So, but yeah, so now we have this hurricane. Um, I'm still working on stuff for the... For the house uh what's my plans for the hurricane um i don't know hurricane party i mean come on uh being from florida all the time uh the hurricanes really just i don't know yeah it's just who knows i, I mean the hurricane it's more of a pain in the ass trying to get stuff so rule number one with hurricanes right drive a diesel because guess what when they're when a hurricane when people know a hurricane's coming guess what happens all the gas goes zero gas but guess what gets what the only thing that's left is diesel so if you ever want to be careful or, or be like concerned if you ever got to get get out of dodge and basically go buy a diesel because all the gas stations have diesel and you can go pretty much everywhere so ooh, galveston you know what's crazy about galveston sorry totally squirrel moment but i actually flew in there after that hurricane hit galveston like literally maybe like a couple days after and I, and I got stuck because I couldn't stay in a hotel. But it, it was sad to see what, uh, what happened to Galveston. But So where am I? I am about a mile offshore, but off the Gulf. So, oh, yeah. And he, uh, Rooney bring, he brings up a good idea that we're going to stream during the storm. We're definitely going to stream during the storm. That's if we even get one, though. Because if I don't know if you guys are checking out the news sites and stuff. But the news sites have it going all of Florida. So... We really don't know where it's going. Um, we have water. Uh, I don't have a generator here. I have a generator on my toy hauler. So technically I could just take my toy hauler right now, go up north and vacation, but I, I'd rather stay home and make sure everything's good here and just have a hurricane party and hang out with a bunch of friends and stuff. Cause you know, that's the cool thing to do. Uh, being uh, in Florida all the time, we, we're kind of used to hurricanes. I mean, they usually miss the Tampa Bay area. But yeah, they're kind of fun. Uh, I don't know. I still want to do my American flag outside in in the wind and stuff because I think it would just look badass, you know. But and and it's not like it's been my first time. I mean, Irma kind of sucked for me, but we didn't end up getting anything, which was pretty lucky. I ended up uh, moving like my whole house too. So um, the biggest pain in the ass with this hurricane, I think, is that I still have to empty my garage this weekend. So while this hurricane's coming, I got to bring all that cool tech gear that I got in my garage and put it in the house. So that's going to be probably the main extent. Plus, I'm going to do some videos, too. So Viking Battle Axe and the other. I like that idea, Jester. That's pretty much spot on, if you know what I'm saying. Says if you can compare a real hurricane to storms in mid Europe, that's a go kart with a go scale rocket car. Yeah, dude. The 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 things where hurricanes, you got to be very careful. You got to wear. It's mostly like flying objects and water. So the nice thing about that where I am now is that I'm on the west side, which is the best side, by the way. We're on the true west side, west side Florida. 
Now, the east side of Florida is going to get hit like crazy. So I, I've kind of become a weatherman pretty much when uh, from boating around here. But So we're on the left side of the storm. So it's not going to be probably too bad for us. Um, the land's pretty much going to cause it to the drop down from a Category 4 probably to a Category 1. So even a Category 1, um, usually the winds and stuff we got to be careful for. Um, the flooding, I wouldn't say so much. Usually they say with a hurricane, the biggest problem is, is uh, what's it called, that top right corner. Because it, when it, it's going through, that's usually where the, the strongest winds are and stuff. So, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't think we're going to have to worry about flooding too. Maybe rain flooding is probably the extent that I'm going to have to worry about. So and, and then the wind. But it depends on it if this hurricane doesn't even... They say it might go like loop up. So who knows if that's going to be true. So I guess what I'll do is I'll, if you follow me on Twitter and uh, uh, any of the Instagram, all those like that, I'll, I'll give you updates and kind of what's going on and stuff like that. So it should be interesting to be on the loose. If the storm goes above us, we'll get back of the, I'll get the back of the spiral. Yeah, that's where I'm not, I'm, to be honest, I'm not really worried. Um, it's always, I don't know, I, that's just how I am. Yeah, Tampa never gets it. It's pretty, <laughs> someone brought up to get the flare gun, really. Hell yeah, West Coast is the best coast over here in Cali, Joe. Yeah, I was waiting for the Cali folks to say that they're the real West Side, but technically we're the first West Side. Uh, <laughs> I love to bring that up to everybody. People <laughs> seem to think it's pretty funny. But but anyway, so I'll keep you updated on the hurricane. We'll probably do some live streams over the weekend just to let you know what's going on. So um, let's see. What else do we got going? So I told you about the thermal tank desk, which is cool. So I'm not sure when that's going to come here, but um, I'm sure I'll, I'll give you an a update video on it. Uh, so the other thing is, is, uh, let's see. So I just released an AMD 5700 XT video, uh, just an unboxing. So what we're going to do is just a little bit in the future. We're, what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to basically do a breakdown on the, on the, it's a reference card. So we're going to do a, take off the cooler, show all the goodness, see how it does. See, we're going to replace the paste. We're going to go over the components. Uh, what we'll also do is we're going to mod it too. So, I'm probably gonna break it up into a couple different videos on the on the AMD side. Uh, so one's gonna probably be modding, one's gonna be breaking down. I like to do short, simple videos because that it keeps you guys entertained. So uh, it didn't have money fall out. <laughs> so yeah, I guess you watch the video. So if if you haven't seen the video, check the video out. Not while I'm live streaming or whatever. Do whatever the hell you want. I don't care. But uh, yeah, so we're going to be doing a lot with the AMD 5700 XT. I'm pretty excited about it. This is the first time in a long time I get to play with an AMD card. So you guys seem to love it, but we'll see. Um, the other thing is the KP. So yeah, um, I killed the KP. It happens. The card had very shaky memory to begin with. Um, I'm also... I don't know. I Vince always uses uh, Vaseline. I try to basically not use it, or so I. I always go. I go back and forth on some of my uh, insulation methods all the time, and and I, I use the liquid electrical tape or or plasti dip. Here, let me see if you didn't notice already, but basically, I use plasti dip too. So the problem is, is trying to get it off sometimes, depending on like motherboards, it's a pain in the ass to put on and you got to tape around stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so what I was using on the KP and I think it's, uh, the Vaseline might've worn off and, or maybe gotten behind a memory chip, but for sure, one of the memory chips is dead on my KP card. So, uh, I was nice enough to talk or, it was pretty cool for uh, Jacob at EVGA to help me out and uh, basically send me over a new card so that way we could do a couple more streams and stuff. So I was initially doing some cre uh, testing on it and man, I don't know, I, I think I hit the Silicon uh, lottery because man, it was doing like about, about 2260 um, Port Royal, which is pretty badass. I think my last card maybe did maybe like 2190. So you're talking about 60 megahertz just on water or AIO, and I haven't even replaced the paste yet. So, uh, dude, I'm like super stoked, but the problem is, is I need to do a video on the breakdown of it before I get to play with it. So, that's pretty much what's in order. It, it kind of irritates me, um, 
but what are you gonna do? I need to, so basically the plan is for tomorrow, I'm gonna break down that KP card, so that way we can kind of get it on liquid nitrogen. So um, I, I, I hope, I'm hoping that I actually have some liquid nitrogen left on uh, in the garage at, at uh, my, my old place. I haven't checked it in a little bit, so I'm gonna see maybe, maybe I'll do some liquid nitrogen on that this weekend. So not sure yet, but we'll see. So yeah, so if you noticed, I have the new KP card here. See that there? In all its glory. Um, I actually, I'm gonna release tomorrow, basically the new video on the KP card. I basically did an unboxing. You see there's a founders card here, and then the KP and with the AIO. Uh, I really do like this card. This is pretty much the awesomest card there is. It's such a beautiful card, but it's even more beautiful, naked. So uh, I'm going to release the unboxing video on it tomorrow. And basically, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing liquid nitrogen on that in the future. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but this little thing right here, I was uh, doing some uh, YouTubing myself. I like to go check out other people's videos and stuff like that. If you don't know what this is, is uh, it's a 360 camera. Uh, a guy basically was doing uh, some motocross stuff and basically going over the um, features and stuff like that, and it, it's pretty badass. So we're gonna do some probably B-roll or probably do some cool uh, cool stuff with that too. So we're moving on up, just learning it, pretty much playing around. Uh, you see my GH5 over there. That thing's been a pain in the butt. Uh, I had to replace the lens already. So but we're gonna try another camera to do some more, see if I can get more, um, to get easier shots done. Because I'm, I'm having to throw a lot of video out and to do YouTube, obviously, I can't be throwing out video. I need to be shooting the video and keeping it. So that's been a big problem, just trying to, uh, lighting changes seemed like, so if I'm talking like this with the GH5, a lot of the times that like it would come out of focus or uh, it, it just, it way too difficult to work with. So I need to probably try to uh, change some cameras around. I'm gonna try it like the M50 just as uh, like a, 1080p camera that I can shoot with that has great autofocus or we might try something better But I don't want to be spending an arm and a leg. So Who knows we'll figure that out, but but yeah, so we've already talked about the toy hauler We've talked about Steve when we're gonna go visit gamers nexus to do some streams trade the GH5 for the Sony Not a bad idea. Where are you gonna where are you gonna trade? Where are you gonna trade cameras? I haven't even really tried to do it, but that's an interesting subject. Maybe I'll do something like that, but I'm so used to the GH5 though. Like I know how to use it. It's just, I feel like it's just more difficult. I don't know. Uh, what else? There was another camera I was looking at and I can't even think about him. Go to bed, broski. I'll watch the stream back tomorrow. Bye. Later, broski. Thanks for watching the stream and I'll be safe during the storm. So, um, yeah, B&H photo. Oh, do, do they, I didn't realize they did uh, trade in. That's going to be. I'll have to try that because I need to do something. It, it's made my, uh, me making videos kind of a pain in the ass. I, I actually did a couple vlog videos, um, just showing off this place and stuff like that. And I was so frustrated by it that like, I kind of just threw them all out. So I, I was really pissed off about that. So what's going on, Bob Giddy? What's going on, slackers? So, but yeah. Uh, the man cave is still in the works, so we're gonna be, I ended up buying a bunch of tools too. I'm, I'm actually gonna go walk through in a little bit. Come here, CJ. So if, if you wanted to see my animal, this is my little buddy right there. What's up, darling? How you doing? Okay, yeah, uh, lick your butt. <laughs> so everybody, this is CJ. Hey, butthead. Yo-ho. Hey, hey. Apparently, she doesn't want to be on YouTube. <laughs> if you do, she's like a little a mix of uh, I think it's a was it a hound and uh, a black lab. So she's like a chubby black lab, but a miniature size. But she's awesome. Come on, dude. What are you doing, licking yourself the whole time? How's it hanging, slacker? What's up, Adam? Thanks for the five bucks, broski. It's hanging pretty good. So. Yeah, I love my uh, 75 inch up here. This is so when I'm doing streams and stuff, I can basically talk to you guys. It's pretty dope. What? You know what's funny? She's still licking herself. If I was a dog, I'd probably lick myself too. I guess I don't know. Be kind of weird though. <laughs> 
I have a 76 pound chocolate. I forget how much she weighs. She's a, she's a fatty though. What are you doing, CJ? Come here. Hold on. You're coming too close. Can't see you. Come here. What's up, darling? Come here. Say hi to everybody. She looks great, but she's only like five to six years old. She's been sleeping, so she's being a lazy. She's being a, a slacker. This is a doggy slacker. Right, darling? Yeah. What's up? She's so cute. I'm going to probably take her outside. She's an awesome dog. Yeah, so here, we'll, walk, we'll kind of walk around and I'll show you a little bit of my my new digs. So if you guys are just starting to follow me, well, even if you've been following me for a while, I haven't really kind of told where I live or anything like that or like where, like what place I'm living in and stuff like that. So I was in a two bedroom apartment. That's why I pretty much had the green screen. Um, I'm kind of over green screens, to be honest. I have a like a portable one that I can use now, but I don't think I'm going to be using that much anymore. So the more, the real plan is to basically uh, build out some cool stuff and kind of work it that way. But, but yeah, let's kind of, do you guys want to see the house? I think uh, I'll show you the rest of the house. So let me turn this around. The lighting's kind of shit, but at least for the GH5. So this is the living room. We'll do a quick view. Yeah, we got uh, over here, we got a fireplace. We're still moving around. Uh, you have a sty in your eye. Well, I used, I did have a sty, but, but let's see. So, yes. So, we got so much room. Yeah, we have a dog gate in there because we have a cat too, but the cat doesn't seem to uh, keep us out of our room. But, yeah, you'll see all my stuff over here. Yeah, I'm still cleaning it up. But, yeah, CJ over here. So, we have a big, we're moving to a big house. So, we got a lot of space, which we're not really used to. You can tell here's the, the kitchen area. Whoop. Nice kitchen area. This has been our, our uh, I don't know, where we drop everything. So as we go and go through here, we have our table and cool area, but we have a lot of shit everywhere. So we're trying to go through and get everything going. It's, it's kind of an interesting house in general. The house was made in the 30s and stuff. So like the electrical and stuff like that is pretty crazy. So we're going through stuff and trying to... But here's the, here's the fun part, right? Look at that. So there's the pool. I feel like somebody's here and I don't know it. So we'll go around and kind of visit a little bit and kind of see. So if you look here... All this orange and stuff, we basically did, we redid this whole area. It was all white before and it looked like crap. So we got a nice pool, got a hot tub. If you look over in this corner right there, I got, I had a bad day one day. I think it was a Monday because usually Mondays are bad days for me. But uh, that's a redneck heater right there. So basically it's a pump, you light it on fire and there's copper coils that go around and it heats up the water. But yeah, so I've had to work with a, uh, the owner of the house or the company. So this whole fence right here is getting replaced. Um, what else we got going? So over here, I've been trying to get a lot of different things done. So if you look right here, we have a new pool heater or a hot tub heater. We're getting, the, this is getting all replaced with a um, new fence, obviously. Uh, one of my biggest issues though, is you see this new pool heater. So. This was a pain in the ass. I had to get the get them to install a new one, but I don't know if you, uh, one of the biggest problems we have, we don't have natural gas. So basically this thing's completely useless. So I found out basically we have no natural gas. So they installed the natural gas one and it's actually, we need a propane one. So I have to get a propane tank hooked up and stuff. So no hot tub in for so I gotta figure all that crap out now. But yeah, we'll go over to, uh, yeah, so you notice we did the whole area over here. Yeah, the signal's gonna probably get a little bit worse as I go away. So I'm gonna just try to give you a little overview. So we ended up getting some new patio furniture. I need a grill and stuff. Says, would you like to hear the benefits of propane? No, thank you, sir. But uh, yeah, there's my redneck heater. It looks like uh, the wind's already starting to kick over here. Let's see. Yeah, my girl's not here right now. She's basically got out, hanging out and trying to get uh, 
some supplies while I'm doing this. If you notice over here, this is a cool little area. Kind of the nice chill spot. And then we have our little gate going on. It's kind of weird. I'm going from like, let's see. What about filling the pool with Ellen too? I actually could do that. So here's the back door. We got some cool rooms and stuff. You see the big truck and the golf cart. So the golf cart is going to be a project too. I bought it like this. It's actually fast as hell. It looks kind of funky. So we're going to do a video on basically upgrading the golf cart. I don't know if you guys have ever done some upgrades, but it's pretty awesome. Uh, I was paying a, a couple things for the trailer. And then there's my big diesel with the, the beard logo. If you notice, I, pretty much everything. The last one was fast, but this one's actually a lot faster than my old golf cart. So obviously, yeah, I've had a couple golf carts. So this one's actually awesome. Uh, to be honest, all the funky colors, I kind of like it after a while, but I'm gonna end up replacing all the colors up here, redoing the seats. Uh, I kind of, I'm gonna redo the lights and probably do a couple other things. I haven't really decided. So it's kind of, when I usually don't, when I'm not doing something, I, I have to wait, you know what I mean? Maybe Joe is living a Truman show. <laughs> Are you renting this? I'm just renting the, the place now. I haven't decided where I want to buy or where I want to live technically for a while. So I just rent for now. So there's my trailer. I ended up buying a, uh, uh, what's it called? A tractor for a couple hundred bucks. Bought used. It was pretty awesome actually. I was so excited to get this tractor that I've been mowing my lawn like looking outside to like, it's, I've never been so excited to basically just mow the lawn, which is kind of crazy, but, but yeah. So that's a couple other things. I guess you can, let's uh, show the garage. So here we go. Oh, actually I got to go through the other way, but yeah. So someone just asked about, uh, here's the laundry room. Is that a real stone on the house? Yeah. It's kind of a weird, it almost reminds me of like a California house. We have a couple issues though. Like, it's leaking in here. We have some roof issues. So this we're getting next month, we're getting a whole new roof too. So if you can see up here, like right here, there's some issues. So it's going to be interesting with this storm. It's probably not going to be that great. Probably going to be lots of rain and they're going to have to fix a lot of shit. It's one of the reasons why I don't own a house because you have too much stuff to do. But anyway, so yeah, yeah, you'll see like the stone is pretty much all through the house. It's quite crazy. To be honest, at first I didn't like it. You shake hands with Kyle Bitwitz. They are working on the house at the moment. So, wow, I can't believe the lighting on this thing works so well. But yeah, so it's just a facade, but you can tell in here too. So this is where I keep the golf cart. My engine hoist and lots of stuff. So we're still moving and a lot of skateboards right here. And you'll see a nice X99 Champion, one of my favorite boards. Uh, bicycles, a bunch of other stuff. So let's get some light. I need to fix this light. Show me the motherboard. I got a miter saw, we have a tail. You guys can see, what I did is I ended up switching the stream to mobile instead of doing Wi-Fi. So basically the Wi-Fi signal is not that strong out here, so. What? Yeah, that is the new house. Time for ubiquity sponsorship for Wi-Fi. <laughs> but yeah, so basically that's what I've been doing. Uh, oh, damn, I'm stepping on shit. I ended up doing a power wash. I had to power wash all these rims and stuff for the trailer, and I ended up leaving a bunch of stuff, so. Yeah, but yeah. I can't really see anything. We're going to go back in the house because the signal seems to be pretty shit. I got to bring the golf cart back in because it's starting to get windy, and I don't want it to be all messed up. But the signal should be back, and you guys should be on. Probably see me now. Oh, it's hot outside, too. But yeah, so what are we... If you guys haven't noticed, I set up a Patreon account. So what do we do over on Patreon? Well, we have Discord over there. So over there is basically um, an area. So like after this stream, we're going to do uh, an after stream where we just bullshit and do a little, just talk on, talk on Discord, hang out for a little bit. So 
pretty much after every stream, I'll do that for a little while. So if you guys want to be a part of it, just join Patreon. So, man, it's hot, dude. Just coming in here is just to cool off. It's kind of nice, actually. So, but yes, <laughs> sell nudes on Patreon. Yeah, whatever, slacker. But yeah, uh, we're going to walk in and cool off for a little bit. But let's see. I think that was pretty much all that I wanted to talk about. Um, you guys got any questions about anything? Nudes in the Discord. Yeah. No, the Discord's uh, still in the works as, as far as like kind of uh, how I want to organize it and stuff. But it, it's been getting better and better. It says turn, turn the Wi-Fi back on. Is it getting laggy again? Here, we'll turn the Wi-Fi back on. There we go. Uh, so, uh, I think someone asked a question about Discord. Well, Discord is only ac accessible to Patreon viewers. So, I hate to plug it and be a pain by that for two bucks. It goes for supporting the channel and getting equipment so that way we can do a bunch of stuff. So, I think that's just the way I'm talking is the audio is out of sync. But... But yeah, so guys, stay tuned for some uh, more videos. Uh, obviously, uh, I have the AMD video that's out, and we're going to have a KB video that's out, and then we're going to have the breakdown videos, and then we're going to do modding videos, and we're going to do a bunch of cool shit. Uh, but yeah, so, and then the mod table, which I'm really stoked about, which is going to be the base of everything we have. So uh, I'm trying to think. I think there was something else that I wanted to to say but i can't remember now crocs are badass compared to gators <laughs> yes hello slacker 9 a.m i'd see a vid today but yeah so what else is up let me see um i think i might have to call the stream or maybe we'll wait a little bit if you guys got questions and need to answer something what's going on so we'll, we'll do a little q a right now and then what we're going to do is we're going to break down and just basically go over to Discord and kind of hang out and do some stuff. And uh, I also have to prepare a video for tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. Why is everyone leaving? It's not over yet. I know. They should learn by now. When I say I'm leaving, I usually never really leave. So, yeah. You should always watch. Um, but, yeah. So, let's see. What's the other things that we're doing? Um, the other thing is, is the 3900 video. 3900x so i keep on getting uh that's the other thing about discord too is on our discord we usually discuss kind of like what videos that people want to see and stuff so if you want to be part of it like in the mix with uh hanging out and talking to me and kind of get ideas to maybe uh talk about making new videos and stuff like that that's where patreon really helps out in the discord so uh, but yeah, we're gonna be doing some memory guides on the 3900X. That that's pretty much the AMD chip I've been waiting for to be able to do it. Uh, thinking about maybe doing like a, a 32M stuff. Uh, I have I didn't get a chance this week to set up the Windows 7 image for it, but we're gonna be doing that. So uh, we're also uh, I know I showed you guys this before. Let's see. My one of the nice things, the reason why I had them send this over, uh, see the CPU lapping video. It's exactly what I was talking about now. So I'm going to be doing the CPU lapping video this weekend. So one of the reasons why I couldn't do it is because I was going to leave. So this basically is going to be for the lapping videos. So you're going to see that on the lapping videos, which is going to be cool. Uh, we're going to do a lapping video um, pretty much, what is it? Uh, on the 3175, we're also going to be doing it on the 3900. When are we going to go see the 3950X come out? Uh, probably November, I think that they said. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, this, is, uh, this isn't this is for sale, really. This is this comes with the P5, and it's just etched. So my logo is etched into it from the guys at Thermaltake. They were doing some cool stuff. But yeah, so this is a good panel for lapping. So pretty much that was the goal. I told them that, and they're like, oh, we'll send it right over to you. Then you can do your lapping videos on it. So... But it's going to be pretty cool. It says, close enough to lap the IHS. Oh, beard. <laughs> Joe is good people. If you're not something that the like button, you are majorly slacking. Yeah, you guys got to up the likes, man. We got to go up to 100 likes. I know a bunch of people left because uh, I think they thought the stream was dying. So I hate when you change from Wi-Fi to shitty Wi-Fi to mobile. It does that. So, But we're still here for a little bit. But yeah, so we got lapping videos coming. We're going to be doing some liquid nitrogen stuff. Uh with uh, 3900X, 
So, or 39, yeah, 3900X. So pretty excited to see 3950X, but uh, we're also going to be doing the W13175, that big monstrous machine, right? So uh, I'm thinking about actually delete. I was trying to get it deleted for it, and I'm kind of pissed about that. Um, Roman never sent it to me, bastard. Um, I think I'm just going to end up using a pretty much a vice and show you guys how to do the vice method because if I can't get, I'm not paying <laughs> for a deliter for the W3175. So I'll end up doing it myself. A slacking button, three thumbs up in value. Johnny Chang, you are exactly right. Why doesn't YouTube have a slacking button? They should. Can you make a vid on the X99 SOC? Uh, that'd be an interesting recommendation. Is that board easy to find anymore? I'm not, I'm not even sure. Is that a special kind of glass? So this glass is basically comes with the P5 from Thermaltake. So you know the um, uh, the case, so the open case. I love those cases because I love open benches. That's just what I do. Um, this is the glass from that. So they sent me an extra glass and they put my logo and etched everything on there for me. So it was kind of like a special gift, which is cool. So um, yeah, I don't know if you guys saw the OC closet. Uh, Thermaltake has been a big sponsor. So we got some cool stuff coming for them too. Might as well talk about that too. You'll see all the goodies that we get. We have some EK stuff. We got some thermal cake stuff. One of the things that I want to test quite a bit is this uh, thermal take memory. Whoop. I don't know why it's doing that today. But uh, this value RAM, this might actually be really good for AMD stuff. So um, we need to test it out. I have a 3200 kit and a 3600 kit. So that, those are a couple things I want to test. I have some Corsair memory. Are those bottles of moonshine? Where's moonshine? Those aren't moonshine. I kind of wish they were, but no, that's just basically pure clear. We got a bunch of different stuff. We got some tube lube. You got to love this stuff. Well, we just got some random stuff in here. I haven't really got the chance to organize it. We got all thermal take stuff, EK stuff. We got, I got, dude, I got to, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm a New York Met fan. Been a diehard. This is the, Signed by the 2006 Mets. Uh, if you notice my tattoo on my arm. We got random graphic cards. I got a ton of these. This thing's going to be all filled with graphic cards. Uh, I got a bunch of dead graphic cards. I got graphic cards that are pretty awesome. I don't know if I've ever told you guys about this either. So I don't know if you guys know what this is. But what this thing's pretty cool, actually. You see this? It says, Bearded Hardware be as a new video about Ryzen fabric. Ah, whatever he's doing. I already have what I'm going to do as far as the memory stuff. So, but, all right, let's see. So, what I want to get to before I go off subject is, this is a cool thing that I have for some videos that I want to do. I'm still trying to figure out the videos I want to do on it, but it's an underwater drone. So, we can shoot 4K underwater. Pretty damn cool. I want to check it out. And then, obviously, we have my compressor. We've got a Nintendo Switch. I ended up getting a uh, a new charger, too, for my Mavic Pro because I was having issues with my charger. My char I think one of my cats basically chewed the charger, so I couldn't use it. Let's see. I'm trying to... So you can see my pretty beard. Uh, it's like, yeah, it's a submarine drone. It's pretty dope, huh? So... I haven't used it in a while. I need to play with it, around with it in the pool. Maybe I'll do a video on that just for slacking purposes because it's so cool. It's a little hard to work with. I had to do a firmware update on it, but it was a little difficult. A beard game, 10 for 10. Yeah, I got some. I got a case of bed beard right now, to be honest. I need to go jump in the, jump in the shower and stuff and uh, clean up that beard. I need to shoot a video for you guys on how to get a good beard like this because... It's a lot of hard work, to be honest. It's a pain in my ass, but I love it because it gives me the strength and the power to do live streams for you guys. So, but anyways, I think we're going to, uh, let's see. It says, I was trying to start a drone company. I had a DJI Phantom 4 and some race drones. Yep. I actually had a, the Phantom 4 too. Uh, I, I had, uh, oh my gosh. I had one of the industrial ones too. They were cool. Did you just promise me a shower video? Awkward. Who wants Joe to be the next Old Spice model? <laughs> Those Old Spice commercials. Anything could be better than them. There's some creepy ass videos. If I don't know, I just remember the ones they were hanging in the tree or the, the women like rolling down the bowling alley stuff. It's pretty creepy. But anyways, so 
Yeah, and I got the request to do a beard video, so like a beard guide. Um, so I'm gonna end up doing it. I mean, I have a third nipple. Um, awkward. I think I know who Zero is now, by the way. He's a pain in my ass. <laughs> but anyways, I think we're gonna shut down the stream. Uh, just stay tuned for a bunch of videos coming out. Uh, we're gonna do a bunch of different things, and yeah, so. Uh, watch the keep an eye out for a bunch of the new videos like the lapping videos and everything I mean, it's all gonna be coming quick people uh, Kind of want me to st steadily put them out, but I just kind of want to put them out for the hell of it. So but anyways, just want to do uh, Let you guys know what's going on. So there's a lot of stuff to go on. I, I probably missed a couple things, too I think I don't, I'm, I'm, I want to, I'm going to probably put an exhaust on the truck too. I don't know if I mentioned that before. I kind of forgot about it, but, uh, but yeah, that's so much going on. Hopefully this weekend I can finish all the moving too. We're supposed to be out by like Tuesday next week. So it, I mean, we're down into the gun. So I'm going to release some videos and then probably take maybe a couple days off to, to finish everything. Um, maybe I'll take some vlogs and stuff. I don't know. I'm, I might try to buy a camera again real quick, but. I don't know. We'll try to go through it again. Where are you going to do another OC stream? Uh, I'll, I'm going to try to do something this weekend. I want to see how far I can get into taking apart the KP and the AMD stuff. And we'll work on it and see. It also depends on if I can get LN2. So I have to run over back to my apartment and see how much LN2 I have. Hopefully I can fill up a couple 30 liters. And I don't know, maybe this weekend I'll do a, a stream. So maybe we'll take the KP for a ride. So... But yeah, so I think uh, this is it, bro, or guys, whatever. I don't know if you guys want to continue on. Just, hey, Patreon's are awesome. So you can get direct access to uh, me and pretty much my Discord. So I don't know. We, I will check you guys later, and I'll see you on the Discord. All right. Slacker out.